This video is brought to you by Intusports.ca, Canada's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for $10 off an order of $50 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you another running shoe unboxing. Today I have for you the uh, highly requested Nike Free Run Plus 3. This is probably one of the most popular running shoes on the market from Nike. And a lot of you guys asked for this one from the last uh, running shoe video, so I decided to bring it in for you guys. Um, I have the electric, brand new electric green colorway here, and it's very, very bright. I'm not sure that the, uh, uh, I'm not sure how accurate the video is going to show as to how bright the shoe actually is, this particular colorway. Um, but if you do want to check out the high quality pictures, those will be on the review page of my website. So like I said guys, I'm getting back into this running shoe thing. And uh, the first one kind of went over really well. I'll leave an annotation in the top left corner to see that. It's basically the Nike Lunar Glide Plus 4. Really, really nice running shoe. And I asked what you guys wanted to see next. And by far it was this particular shoe from Nike. And it's the Nike Free Run Plus 3. Reason why this shoe is so popular is it kind of starts with that minimalistic running. Um, the concept is there's kind of three tiers as far as minimalistic goes from Nike, which is the 5.0, 4.0, and 3.0. This right here is the 5.0. So this is kind of the transition shoe between a regular, a traditional running shoe and a minimalistic running shoe. And if you're not familiar with that particular term, basically a, a standard running shoe is what you would normally find with like a heel drop of 10 millimeters or more. 10 millimeters being kind of the norm, meaning that your heel sits 10 millimeters higher than your toes or your forefoot would be. Um, this particular shoe has an eight millimeter heel drop, so it's a little bit less than you would normally get. And like I said, this is kind of the learner shoe for barefoot uh, or minimalistic running, which if you're not familiar with is a little bit different than what you would normally run. A lot of people um, it's kind of a, there's a huge debate as far as running shoes goes as to how you're supposed to run. A lot of people still do run heel to toe. Um, so you're, when you're planting your foot, it's planting on the heel and then you're kind of uh, transitioning over to the toe. A lot of people, if you're, if you talk to any kind of serious runner, generally they're very against the heel to toe running style. I personally myself have kind of trained my way out of the heel to toe running style. And I'll talk a little bit about this in later videos. Let me know if you guys want to see kind of some some tutorials or something like that. Because it's really kind of a unique thing. But the whole barefoot running style is kind of the midfoot or forefoot running. Where your heel is not really taking too much of the impact when you're actually running. You're never landing on your heel simply because in a minimalistic running shoe, there's no padding in the heel. And if you think about it, the way you run barefoot is completely different than the way you would run in a pair of running shoes. So like I said, this is kind of that transition before, between a standard running shoe and a minimalistic running shoe with that eight millimeter, millimeter heel drop. And then you have very little padding, minimal padding through the heel and forefoot area um, with this uh, unique sole. But I'll talk a little bit about the upper here. This is the, uh, like I said, the transition running shoe. So it still has a lot of elements similar to a more traditional running shoe. So you have an individual tongue here, which is really nice. It's really, really comfortable. You have the super soft heel liner, but there's no kind of plastic in the heel. There's no rigidity whatsoever. So it feels very, very free. But uh, the overall fit of this shoe is a little bit tighter than you would normally get from a standard running shoe. There's not a huge uh, a ton of space in the midfoot and forefoot. It ten tends to wrap your foot pretty tightly. Of course, you have this kind of open mesh section here with these little kind of uh, fused on overlays that are going to provide a little bit of lateral stability and some structural integrity to the upper itself so you're not wobbling around too much when you're uh, actually running. And if you actually look how this shoe is actually laced, it's somewhat unique. I don't know how great you guys can see that. But you have these little loops here and they kind of go into these... Uh, what Nike calls fingers or basically these pads if you can imagine like my fingers being these little things attached to the lace holes so when you pull the laces tight it grabs similar to flywire but in a less kind of uh, restrictive uh, form so it wraps your foot it's a little bit more comfortable it's these soft kind of materials and it lays in between this outside and inside layer of the shoe so like I said when you pull the laces tight it grabs the midfoot and keeps your foot secure in place really really nicely but that's it as far as the upper goes and then this is the Nike free midsole or uh, sole plate if you want to call it uh, call it that but this is why this shoe is so popular main reason for me is probably because it's a really really good looking shoe a lot of people wear these as casual shoes but they actually are pretty good functional running shoes as well um, like I said if you're kind of venturing into that barefoot running style but uh, you have this sole here and it's all segmented really really nicely so it's very very flexible if I get out this uh, 
a little bit of stuffing in here. If I get the stuffing out, you can see that this is a very, very flexible shoe. You have all these little cutouts here, and there's very little actual rubber on the shoe itself. They really only put it where you need it. So you have it basically in the wear spots of a running shoe. So a little, little bit in the toe where you're constantly pushing off, and of course the heel, which again is kind of a high abrasion, high friction area on the particular shoe. So that's gonna keep it a little bit more durable. Where the rest of it, you have basically this EVA foam. I believe it's called Phylite on this particular shoe and that's going to uh, basically provide the sole and the durability of the shoe, but it's, overall it's very, very flexible. You don't have too much flexion through the midfoot here, but there still are, the, are those slits, so you can uh, get a pretty good amount of flexibility here, but all those cutouts, that's what they're for, just to provide that nice flexibility in the forefoot. And like I said, you get that really solid bend when you actually do touch the ground on this particular shoe, but keep in mind there's not a ton of padding, um, but there, out of all the Nike Frees out there, there will be other pa uh, the most padding so let me know in the comments guys what you guys want to see next uh, i'm thinking about doing all three so the 5.0 the 4.0 and the 3.0 um, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the see all of those lines and in the meantime if you want to check out the high quality pictures as well as buy it now links with all the colorways for this particular shoe if you're really interested in getting one of these i highly recommend you check out that review page there's going to be um, buy it now links with the best prices online with all kinds of colorways for this particular model um, there has to be close to close to 20 different colors to choose from in this particular shoe. So like I said, go ahead and check that out. If you're interested in a pair of running shoes to train in, um, it's so important to be training off the field. And uh, this is a really solid pair of shoes to do it in. My full written review should be up in a couple of weeks or so, guys. I actually already own a pair of these. I just wanted to get a pair to show you guys. Um, kind of a brand new pair in the newest color. So the review should be up in a little while or, or so. And I'm going to try and make these reviews a little bit more uh, simple. to let, I'll let you guys kind of introduce you into the running shoe world because the running shoe world to me is a little bit more complicated than even the soccer shoes so like i said that will be up on the website but in the meantime go ahead and check out that review page that link will be in the description let me know in the comments what other uh, running shoes you do want to see and i'll try to do my best to get those particular shoes in for you guys i'm not going to make this overtake the channel but i want to include this once in a while just because I think that enough of you do want to see this kind of thing. Um, in the meantime, if you want to check out the Facebook page, there'll be a link in the description of that. And basically what happens on the Facebook page is when I have a bunch of content in and uh, I'm deciding which video to go up, I'm just going to put a poll on Facebook so to let you guys decide which video you want to see first. And whatever video wins, that's the video that gets posted. So if you want to participate in which content is going to go up, that happens on the Facebook page, and then you, as well as any new content that goes up on the website, SoccerReviewsForYou.com, or any new stuff that I get in, always gets posted on Facebook first. So if you just want to be up to date with all the latest content coming from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, that's all going to happen on the fan page for Facebook. So again, that link will be in the description. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.